For this scenario, we will be using a previously created scenario. Click Open a Scenario. Go to the Data Federate. Make sure you're logged in as student. If you're not, the username and password is student. Go to Browse. Expand Public. Users. Training. Open. Remstat Timeline Models. Click Open. Let it reconfigure. If your models were the incorrect models, correct them by right-clicking on the model, selecting Properties, and going to 3D Model. Select the right model from your resource folder and click Apply in OK. Creating a view for the camera is really easy. Simply place the camera in a view you like and click Store View. Click New and name this view whatever you wish. Then click Apply and OK. Whenever you use that view, it will use your camera angle that you selected. Using the views we stored, we can add them to the camera keyframe. Move the timeline so that it starts at the beginning. Add a keyframe and use the view Enter Burn Area. Click OK. Move the timeline to the point where it starts releasing water. Enter another keyframe. Only this time, have it do Water Drop. Click OK again. Move the timeline to after the water is dropped and the hatch is closed, and change the keyframe again. This time, do Enter Burn Area once more. There are additional camera controls within STK. To unhide them, click Show or Hide Panels and Unhide 3D Camera Control. From here, you now have a camera control manager as well as an ability to add more keyframes. The camera controls can be used to clean up any animations. However, you may need to clean up the camera controls themselves. To do this, Go to Camera Control and disable showing of your controls. I named mine Water Drop. Also, remember to go to the Render page after you've applied your changes. Disable Show Keyframes, Disable Control Points, and Disable Camera Object. Click Apply and OK. This should clean up your animation as you play through it. SDK allows for recording of your animations. To do so, go to your movie timeline. Click Record. From here, we can have several options. In the file name and format, we can say where we want to save the file. I'm going to save mine to the desktop, and I'm going to name it Water Drop. I'm also going to make it a Windows Media Player file. This is a movie file. Things like JPEG in tagged image are actually image files and not movie files. Click Next. We will be recording from the 3D graphics window. Make sure that's enabled and click Next. For our preset, we will be doing large. However, you can record in HD 720 as well as 180. Click No Change in Size. Click Next. For our camera controls, we'll be using our current camera view. Otherwise, you can do st your stored views. Click Next. For step size, we're going to keep all of these default. However, for the end time, we're going to do it just after the movie ends. Once you have done this, 
click Next. For anti-aliasing, we're going to keep it at good quality. For all of these other options, we will keep them at default. Go ahead and click Next. Now we are ready. We can go ahead and begin our recording. Click Begin Record. I'm going to let it record and I'll get back to you when it's finished processing. When you've finished processing the video, click Finish. Go to your video, open it, and click Play. Ensure the video is working correctly. That concludes this tutorial of STK.